what's up you guys let's do another reading um first of all thank you all for your support your likes subscribes if you haven't subscribed already please subscribe join the tribe um the song that i heard before doing this reading was my main by mila j and ty dollar sign so i'm trying to think of like I heard it in my head, I'm trying to think of the lyrics, but it's like, um, all I know is like, she's with me for life, yeah, you know that she's my ride or die, like that's, that's, that was the part that I had in my head, so let's just pull some cards and let's see what's going on with that, okay? Alright, we've got the beef card, like either somebody needs some more iron in their dark, or in their diet, <laughs> Or there's a lot of fighting going on. I'm not really, I'm not really into the fighting vibe. But you know what? Whatever. We're just gonna pull these cards. Okay. So we've got Arcturian energy. Somebody is a, um, someone's an ascended master. Somebody's a teacher, a divine teacher. We've also got some Atlantis energy. We've got move out the way. Okay. So somebody's been creating some beef. Hmm. Seek guidance. Hmm. If anybody needs a tarot reading, just let me know. Um, let me know in the comments below. Give me your email address or I will leave my email address in the description box. I mean, um, what else? You're more powerful than you know. Okay. It's all love. I just did a reading, the reading before this one, that was basically like, trying to open your heart and heal after an abusive cycle. Um, so I wonder if that, if that has something to do with this reading as well. Um, haters gonna hate. So there was some jealousy and um, I thought you were my friend. And I'm pretty sure that this is one of the last cards that I pulled from that other reading. So it's almost like somebody is really disappointed with an outcome not necessarily because they don't want to lose this person but mostly because it's like it left them in a very broken place which makes it very difficult to be able to um have healthy relationships moving forward okay but and this was another card that i pulled but you are in the light all right right now you are in the light you are in a high frequency okay and the only way is up all right so don't worry, you are an angel, you are being divinely guided, okay? And I'm saying you're being divine, divinely guided, um, time is money, and I think that spirit also understands this, okay? Um, that can also mean that just time is precious and time is of the essence. Um, I want all of your heart. Yeah, I feel like this is the new love that's coming in, and they're saying don't be afraid. Love is the way. Divine union and its destiny. And um, you soothe me. This is definitely somebody you've met and you take over all of my senses. There was another reading that I did where I think that somebody was feeling, it's almost like you were a catalyst for their healing journey. You were a catalyst that opened up all of their senses, made them extra sensory, okay? We have different people who come into our lives sometimes just to, to open up parts of ourselves, to, to share our energy with them momentarily, to um, help them to essentially, it's like, um, I can't remember what it's called. It's like a, a divine activator or something like that, but it's basically somebody might be sleeping and an awakened person, you know, shares some sort of a connection with the sleeping person and it, it reminds the soul and wakes the soul up and then it, it generally triggers some sort of a dark night of the soul or just, or just a, an awakening where all of a sudden you become an extrasensory and you're hearing things and you're seeing extra things, you know, on the other side of the veil and you feel a little crazy. So yeah, that might be... Um, so that, that would be kind of a dark night of the soul. We've got a king. So whoever this is, they're a king. And they see you as um, 
as uh, their queen, okay? Fly, fly freely. I feel like somebody is getting away from a situation and it's it's like they were waiting for you to do that or something like that. And um, <laughs> show me what you got. I don't even know what that means right now. Um, oh, yeah, show me your strength is what I'm hearing. Hmm. I wonder if you met this person and there was, it, it was almost like, I don't know, maybe you were defensive or something like that and it was, um, it was not easy for them to see you in pain. I don't know. Take what resonates, you guys. Um, sexy, but they definitely think that you are very, very sexy. And um, you might need some rest and relaxation. You know, if you've just closed out a cycle, you might need some rest and relaxation, okay? Let's pull some other cards here. What else, spirit? Ancestors of the white light. Mm -hmm. Yeah, six of swords. You're moving towards. You're moving towards a more positive. You're ascending into a, a higher level of consciousness. Okay. Um, yeah, whoever this person in the past was, they were very uh, righteous, self-righteous, not righteous. They were self-righteous and manipulative. And um, you might also. They weren't humble, and they tricked you into thinking that they were humble, but they were not. So, um, but just use discernment moving forward. This is this is going to help you with that. Um, yeah, there may have even been a third party with the other one, and, and they were incredibly entitled with regards to your energy, even. Um, King of Pentacles. I feel like you have a lot of abundance coming in. This could also be an earth sign that's coming in. Um, and I definitely feel like the two of you are, are going to have a victory. We've got the um, the Six of Wands here. Two givers. That's what I'm hearing. Two givers. Um, if you are in a situation right now, um, I feel like you have the upper hand. We have the Nine of Swords here. I'm sorry, the Nine of Wands here, rather. Um, and I also feel like you might just feel a little, like, shell-shocked, so to speak. So that's... That's why there needs to be some R and R, okay? Um, yeah, you may need to divine, or you may need to um, like balance and integrate. What I'm hearing is you need to integrate more of your divine feminine into yourself, because a lot of times these narcissistic situations create an imbalance within the, the divine feminine and the divine masculine within ourselves. Okay, so you you might be having to embody more divine masculine energy um which is creating an imbalance so you're more of a like go 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 action type of a person okay and that's good that's very important to you know take take action and to 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 um like always be on top of things okay controlling things micromanaging things things like that whatever but there has to be a balance in between that and like flowing and healing and receiving, you know, instead of controlling, but receiving and, um, um, sorry, you guys, I apparently can't multitask today, so that one just kind of lost, so, um, contemplation, okay, truth, you're definitely in your light, I feel like whatever the situation was, too, it really helped you to be able to find your truth, um, I feel like there's a lot of, like, this contemplation card, I feel like you need to um, go back and review some things with yourself. I think at the end of any cycle, it's very good to, to go and um, um, go back and review things. You know, journal things about your story. Um, solitude. Yeah, you definitely need some R&R, okay? Awareness. I told you, I feel like you are so much more self-aware now and much more aware with regards to um, people in the world around you. I feel like you were doing a lot of re reverse projection. You're a very kind and good person and you just kind of felt like everyone else was like that. But that's not necessarily the case. Sadly, it's not the case. And so moving forward, you're going to be um, a lot more discerning and, and you won't get your heart broken because now you know how to st stand up for yourself. Now you know what to look for, okay? And now I feel like you also need to learn how to communicate and that journaling will be able to help, okay? And um, breaking free, you definitely broke free out of a toxic cycle, okay? Um, yeah, feelings. 
I feel like there are definitely some feelings that need to be released. Whoever this is, they're, they've been in a, a, a masculine energy for a very long time, and that does not, um, that, it, it does not leave a lot of time to feel, okay? So I feel like before you start on this new journey, you need to make sure that you're prepared for that by, um, by releasing any, you know, heavier feelings that you have had. Um, and then also we've got trust. I am also hearing that you need to trust your feelings in the future, okay? But also um, use discernment. Okay, we've got dreaming. In the, the um, reading that I did before this one, there was a lot of astral projecting and a lot of uh, telepathic communication going on between the two, um, the Divine Feminine and the Divine Masculine. So I do believe that, that, that that's what this uh, dreaming message is. Also, if you have a dream that was almost like taken away from you because of this karmic narcissist, whatever the fuck our nemesis is, um, hold on to that dream is also what I'm hearing, okay? And re-energize. I just feel like you need a lot of R&R, &R, okay? A lot of self-care drink water, surround yourself with good people. If you um, have somebody that you can talk to on the regular, do that. We have the seek guidance guidance card. And also if you need a tarot reading, let me know, okay? Yeah. And be positive, okay? Stay positive. Smart, smart, positive, okay? All right, that is it. I love you guys so much. Please don't forget to like subscribe, and all the things. Until next time.